Are you feeling brave? How brave? Brave enough to watch Tag Back, the show where every week we take a look at another blaster from the past to see what it could offer us today in the present? Good, because that's exactly what you signed up for by clicking this video. And today we're going to look at something, uh, well, I get a lot of criticism that I don't look at a lot of bad blasters. People want to see some bad blasters, and while I'd hate to do this with the nice blaster that Bobo Bob kindly sent to me, this may be one of the most useless blasters I have in my collection right now. The Nerf Airjet Power Plus Fast Blast. Usually these old air blasters are a treat to find because, well, you can plug the pumps, you can pump the tanks up until they're about to burst and get a huge amount of energy out of them. First problem looking at the Fast Blast though, it doesn't have a trigger. Yeah, it does have an air tank. We can clearly see a pump right here, a pump handle, a tank, and a turret. But there's no trigger. This blaster being mechanically interesting is the only redeeming factor about it. I'm sorry. It looks fine. It, you know, it, it's not even a bad concept. I don't mind these push and pull blasters. The arrow storms are amazing. But this thing is terrible. Absolutely atrocious. But, like I said, it is mechanically interesting, so we'll go over that. Starting with the business end, the turret itself. You will notice it's got five dart posts in there. So we can put, I don't know, we'll put this dart right here. And we'll put this dart right here. So, where do you think this thing's going to shoot from? Is it going to shoot from this dart since I put it in there first? Is it going to shoot from up here because this is the top barrel? You would be absolutely wrong in pretty much every case. You have a one in five shot of guessing where this thing's going to shoot from unless you're the one who fired it last. Yep, so when you pump this blaster, it has a rotational mechanism inside that changes where the airflow is going to go. This does not rotate. This in here rotates and directs the airflow into a different barrel. But there's no way to mark that. There's no way to tell where it's going to fire from. So good luck with that one. That absolutely kills any chance this thing has. If you needed to reload this on the field, you need to either exactly remember the last barrel to fire, and hopefully you didn't fire a dart out of it and like dry fire it and forget where you were, because there's no way for you to know where your next dart's gonna come from. So if you only have two darts left, you best hope you put them in the right spaces, otherwise you're going to be pumping this thing and not getting any darts out of it for a little bit. But, when you pump it, so if I pull this back, obviously this is connected to the pump. It's also connected to the rotation mechanism, and it's connected to the blast button on the tank. So, when I pump this thing forward, no dart. No dart. So that means our next dart is going to be this pink one. Boom. Bob's your auntie. This was, uh... <laughs> well, it's it's cool. I mean, next dart's gonna be a dud. Next dart's gonna be the sticky dart. And it's got a little bit of a pop to it. But, you will notice that it fires every single time that is pushed forward. And yet it has an air tank. Which means you cannot overpressure this tank. Even if you try to do something like this, every single time you pull this lever back, this, this priming grip back, it releases the air to the tank. And if you do it slowly for some reason, it doesn't seem to build up much pressure. That doesn't mean that you get more pressure. If you slam it, you're gonna get the same amount of pressure either way. So it's not even good like a ham, where you're gonna get that extra pressure if you have the skill and the finesse and the power to drive it home. No, because it's an air tank. It doesn't matter. What the heck? I mean, thanks, Bob, but this thing is pointless. It serves no function. Even if you rebarreled it, even if you, like, plug the pump, I don't freaking know. It doesn't matter with this blaster. Making it probably one of the worst. I mean, I can try to shove a piece of K26 spring inside of a Tech 3. It wouldn't work, but I could try. I mean, any terrible blaster, even a Maverick, I could put this in there. I mean, it's...
it's still reverse plunger, but I can put this in there and get a decent amount of power into it, assuming the internals don't absolutely destroy themselves. I don't have that option with this blaster. I don't get anything. Using this air tank means that it's good for adults because obviously they have the power to push this as hard as they can. But kids can use it as well because it's an air tank and it's just releasing the air. It doesn't matter how hard you drive this thing. I mean, you might get a little bit of an effect, but not a drastic change like you would expect from something like a, a Boomco Slam Blast or anything, really. And that's the problem of the Fast Blast. It's useless. If you see one of these for cheap and you want a collector's item, go for it. I mean, Bobble Bob paid three bucks for this thing. Plastic's probably worth more than that. But it's a terrible blaster. You're not going to get great performance out of it. I will say it is rather comfy, at least to my hands. And it looks cool. I like the, the two-tone, the half and half right there with this lime green. It's so 90s. I believe this came out in 1999. But it's useless. I'm sorry, fans of the Fast Blast, but it is entirely useless. Such a shame. I was really excited when I saw this thing, and now the only thing I can think of is maybe I can salvage that tank in there and make it do something. That's too bad. And unfortunately, that's the story with this blaster. It's not good. It has no redeeming factors. It's comfy. It's mechanically interesting. It's cool looking, but that's it. It's not worthy of anything other than being an awful blaster. Like, if you have one of those awful rounds at your local war. This is a... Uh, I wouldn't go searching out for one of these. Now. Thank you very much for watching Tag Back. And if you want to see more episodes of it, here's two more right here that you can click on to see some other blasters that you might not have known even existed. And of course, if you want to see the next episode of Tag Back, the easiest way to do that is to hit the subscribe button. Now, normally these are a weekly series, but this is the week of Tag Back. That's right. So if you subscribe today, you'll see another episode tomorrow. I'm Walk All Mouse 7. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in an entirely different video.